Hi, hello. Good morning. As we continue talking about the basics of the German language, in this video we are going to focus on how you can first of all know and see what the genders in German are, so masculine, feminine, and neutral, and also how to use it. How do you know when something is masculine, feminine, or neutral? Are you ready? Bist du bereit? Also, los! Der, die, das, the genders in German. In German, we basically have three genders. Der, masculine, die, feminine, and das, neutral. And we, of course, also have one that's for plural, die. But how does it all work? Uh, on the masculine, definite articles like the, we have der, feminine, die, neutral, das, and plural, die. And in the indefinite articles like a, we have for masculine, ein, for feminine, eine, neutral, ein, and we don't have anything, any indefinite article for the plural. But how do I know, Jennifer, if it's der, die, or das? Okay, so we have a few tips. Basically here, if you're starting out, just use colors, okay? Because you're gonna see that your brain remembers way easier the color than those three letters, okay? Uh, you should choose a color for each gender and one for the plural, uh, one that makes sense for you, and then use it, okay? And when you are learning new words, you should already, of course, learn the word with the respective article. For example, you are learning house in German, don't just learn house. Learn das Haus. Like das belongs to it, okay? You will see that it will make your life way easier. And also try and use mnemonic techniques and your senses. But uh, how do I do that? So, for example, you should create one character for each gender, okay? I don't know, imagine something funny like those here or something that makes sense. Usually, the funnier, the more strange, the better, okay? Because um, your brain, like, focuses on that. You should also, like, use your senses and also the more, the better. For example, uh, you have, in your mind, you said that there, you see it blue, blue reminds you of cold. And then, you, when you, for example, you are learning something masculine, like der Wagen, then you see the car covered in snow, and you can feel the, the wind and things like this, okay? The more, the better. Uh, but basically, uh, the important thing is you should use things that work for you, that make sense for you, okay? Because the more sense it makes for you, the more it reinforces the connections in your brain. And the more connections, the easier your brain can find the folder again when you actually need it in the future. Okay, I hope it helps. See you soon. Bye-bye.